What do Falcons do? Rise up. Welcome to Rise Up Reactions, the show where we talk all things Falcons, NFL, Georgia sports, and in general, the sports news of the day. I'm your host, Dr. Denning, the Golden Heart Doc. So today we're coming back at you with another video. Falcons have made uh, the big headlines in the NFL the last couple of days. Uh, with the trade of our fifth round pick, which we acquired uh, from the Jacksonville Jaguars, one of the two picks that we acquired from them, uh, for Calvin Ridley, uh, getting Jeff Akuda, the 2020 third overall corner, and at the time graded as the best corner in that draft. Uh, but number three overall, the highest a corner has ever been taken in the NFL. We've gotten him for a fifth round pick uh, because he was taken in the first round. We have about. Ugh, I think 19 days to make a decision on his fifth year option if we're going to exercise that. It would be about 11 ish million dollars, give or take a few, a, a few hundred thousand there, um, which would probably still be cheaper than trying to re sign him if he does, with a change of center, have a good year with the Falcons and ends up getting a, a contract renewal. Now, Falcons have been pretty big spenders in free agency. We've acquired several players. Uh, we've acquired uh, David Onyemata. We've been able to get Calais Campbell. We got Jesse Bates. Uh, we picked up um, Caden. I forgot his last name. Uh, Ellis, I believe, from the Saints. Um, We've done a pretty good job spending on defense. We are definitely making a statement about what kind of team we want to put on the field in 2023. Uh, I think we want to play really smash-mouth football on the front lines. We've really beefed up the defensive interior. Uh, Goldman is also going to be coming back for one year out of retirement because we do have him. I was really excited last year when I thought he was going to be coming to us from the Bears, only to retire like within, I think, two weeks of getting here. He is coming out of retirement, and we will have some depth depth on the interior defensive line and some extra pressure. Uh, we do have Lorenzo Carter coming back, and we do have AK-47, Arnold Epicady. So I'm fairly excited about some of the things that we have going on uh, from that perspective. I am even more excited because we have added Jeff Akuda here. So now you have a secondary that is going to be highlighted by Jesse Bates, uh, A.J. Terrell, who was also taken 16th overall in the same draft as Okuda, was definitely not as high of a prospect at the time. Uh, and honestly, they obviously they had similar first years. Neither of them lived up to their draft grade. Uh, I think Okuda suffered more because of coaching where he went to. Um, at that time, if I remember correctly, I think it was, um, oh gosh, I can't think of his name. Um, the Detroit Lions had, uh, oh gosh, he wears a hoodie just like Bill Belichick. I cannot think of a Lions former coach. Let's see here. It's, it's going to slap me in the face when I actually see it. Uh, Matt Patricia, that's it. Yeah, Matt Patricia. Uh, Matt Patricia is a fairly defensively minded coach, but he is not a, def a genius as a head coach. And he did not have the backing of that locker room. He was no good there, 13, 28, and 1 in his time. I do apologize. We have a Roomba that's going to be in the room going, so we'll try to make this quick. But anyway, just want to talk about Jeff Okuda is coming to the Falcons and certainly could be a redemption story for us. Uh, he is going into his fourth year. He started out in 2020 being injured. He had multiple injuries in 2021, including... Uh, he got a concussion in November that year. He ended up with a shoulder injury in the same game as the concussion. Uh, in December of that year, he had a, a grade 2 groin injury. He had a thigh injury in September of that year. So his first year in the league was marred by injury, though he really didn't play all that well. Uh, he was okay in run stopping, but he was not particularly good in coverage, which is where you want him to be good. Now, year two, a lot of people expected him to be a little bit better with Dan Campbell coming in as the head coach. However, he ended up in the early part of the season. Heck, it may have even been preseason. What was the date on this? Yeah, first, first game of the season, September 12, 2021. He tore his Achilles tendon out more or less the rest of the year. Did not play well, and that's a tough injury to come back from. Completely different from an ACL or a knee injury. Um, that's a solid year-long rehab. 
And then he comes back and he plays an entire season in 2022. Not particularly good. He didn't look great coming off of his injury. He Again, he was okay in run defense and tackling. He was just not particularly good in coverage, uh, being graded out of 54.4. Uh, he only had, I think he only had one interception total last year. Trying to even find that on here. Yeah, he had one interception early in the season against Arizona. Uh, so, again, I don't know that he is going to be this amazing prospect, but I think he's a solid flyer. What else are you going to ask the Falcons to do with a fifth-round, 159th overall pick? What other kind of upside are you going to be looking for more than somebody who was previously the number three overall player and graded before the draft as the number one tight end among everybody that actually had something to say. So I do like Jeff Okuda, Jeffrey Okuda, however you want to say it. Um, he's still young. He's only 24 years old. He'll be 24 and a half going into the season. I think he's going to be a solid player for us this year as a rotational component with Casey Hayward. Uh, then also, again, having A.J. Terrell, Jesse Bates, Mike Hughes, a couple of these other guys in here. Uh, could see some special teams action. Don't know. But anyways, I do like this pickup for the Falcons. I think it definitely helps build up our defense. It's it's helping for sure. I don't think it hurts us at all. I, can, I think it only helps. And just as we also have the vacuum going, you guys might as well get a cat tax today, too. Susie would like to say hello to everybody. Please consider liking and subscribing to the videos. We really appreciate it. Uh, it helps the channel grow. It would help me reach more people. My goal is 500 by the end of next season. I am going to be having a live draft um, or a, a live video during the draft, uh, at least through the Falcons pick. I did find out that my schedule actually has changed up for the week of the draft. Uh, we are getting a new EMR. I have some training that's going on on Wednesday where I'm normally off, so I actually will have that Friday after the draft off. So I'll have a little bit more time to actually maybe invest in a full live stream of the first round of the draft. But guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Again, helps the channel out tremendously. And as always, rise up.